Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 23rd, 2022. Well, we had kind of a disappointing day on Friday with the bears really pushing and creating new lower lows in um, the Diamond Spy and QQQ. So we continue in this pattern with making lower highs followed by lower lows in the chart and running in this downtrend. However, at the end of the day, we had a nice short covering rally with a nice push, a really sharp rally in the last 30 minutes of the day, pushing back to the upside. So. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can decide how we might want to approach the market for today. Obviously overall we continue in this bearish pattern and this channel to the downside has been pretty substantial um, as we continue to fall and if we look back over here we found a little teeny tiny little bit of price support here in that diamonds chart and it did create a little bit of a relief rally right at the end of the day where those bears just decided to um, cover those short positions creating a rather sharp rally um, and this morning we're trying we're trying fingers crossed to um, push on through with some upside here this morning we've had um, the bulls kind of pushing back and forth and now they're on on the stick again here uh, pushing uh, to the upside as I um, record this report but if you notice right in here we've got some price resistance in that chart that we're going to have to watch pretty carefully there and of course this downtrend price resistance that we're going to have to deal with and if we can punch through there then we would have some opportunity to maybe come on up here a little bit higher test some of these other levels in the chart now let's um, again fingers crossed that the bulls can relieve a little bit of that pressure with a push-up but if those bears were to engage here, we would watch these areas right in here for that potential engagement. We're going to have to be very focused on resistance levels in the chart and respect them carefully. Don't get caught up in the fear of missing out when we get that bullish pop because we could easily see this bullish move this morning turn into a pop and drop pattern. We could pop right up in here, smack our head into that resistance and turn right back around. And we have certainly seen a lot of those lately. So watch carefully for that. And, and again, don't get caught up in the uh, fear of missing out. I gotta hurry up and rush right into this market because it could, could produce a bit of a disappointment. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at um, our technicals on the chart, well, obviously our technicals are very bearish. And there is that little bit of hopefulness, I think, that we could push up through here and maybe even come all the way up in here to test that 500 day moving average. But we don't seem to have a whole lot of time to do that because of some data coming on the economic calendar. We'll talk about that a little bit. So watch that and notice that our 34 and 20 EMAs have crossed down creating a substantial technical resistance level right there in the chart. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, very similar situation. We made a new lower low. Um, so we continue to move in this down channel um, in the SPY. However, we did come over here, if you notice a little bit, caught a little tiny bit of price support over in here off of that area, but doggone it, just not enough to really give us a whole lot of warm and fuzzies here. We'll want to keep an eye on this downtrend. We'll also want to keep an eye on the resistance in this chart right up through here. And if we can push through that area right here, maybe we come up this high in that chart with a little bit of relief. Watch that carefully, however. Remember, we still run that possibility of the pop and drop on the day. Now let's take a look at our technicals here. This is where we can really kind of see maybe if we can 
definitely right up into that 500 day moving average that would be a nice little relief uh, for the market but you'll want to notice our short-term moving averages are showing uh, considerable resistance above that so keep a close eye then if we take a look at our QQQ QQQ um, has been terribly bearish with a new low coming in here on Friday before we got that nice little relief pretty steep to the downside and you can see we've got quite a little bit of um, concern here in this chart because although we have a little bit of price support right in there it's not a lot and um, we would want to watch that pretty closely particularly with those bond um, yields starting to creep back up again this morning so watch that carefully our technicals in this chart obviously extremely bearish short-term moving averages have crossed down through here we've got quite a resistance level set up here in the chart that may be pretty challenging for us to get through However, we do have that little bit of hope. This almost gives us that little double bottom type hope with that hammer right there off that bottom. Maybe we can push up into this area here in the next couple of days. But again, we don't have a whole lot of time to get that done before we're going to get some economic reports that may be a little bit painful. Um, then let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM is the only index, surprisingly, the only index that didn't set a new low on Friday. So we have this little downtrend here, and we're pressing against that right now. A little tiny bit of price support starting to form in that chart unfortunately the resistance above here is substantial and um, it would be nice to see a little bit of relief and in, in fact it would help us out a little bit if IWM would relieve here a little bit but I got to tell you when you look at the technicals here on this chart this is not a good situation we have that Russell um, with the 50 crossing down through the 500 that price resistance in the technical showing up right in here so we've still got some questions to be answered here on that index if we take a look at our VIX our VIX popped up yet on Friday as you know we had that selling that come in on uh, most of the day on on Friday and then we got that relief right at the end of the day pulling that back so so far the good news is we haven't broke through this resistance um, area in the chart here but we certainly have not broken back down through this 25 26 handle here in the chart that provides quite a bit of support however this morning with the bullishness that we're seeing we run that chance that we could push down into here and at least test this area if not maybe even push on through um, on that chart but we've got a lot of a lot of work here to do to relieve some pressure if we take a look at our t2122 this gives us our best hope of a potential rally we have been down here scraping along the bottom of the ocean here for some time now and if we can get that relief you could see we we've opened up a pretty big upside here in um, that chart if we can get that relief and if those bears continue to stand on the gas well we just have a little bit of downside um, available to us as well if that were to if we were to find something to get those bears to re-engage so watch carefully on that our t2108 well we did get a little bit of a hook here um, they lifted a little bit better um, on friday with that relief but understanding that only about 15 to 16 percent of our stocks holding above the 40-day uh, moving average does not make a bullish case for the market however it does tell us that we are so um, oversold in the short term that a relief um, in that chart would seem likely that we can get um, a little bit of lift out of that and if we take a look at our t2107 the same thing is true here we had um, rather um, disappointing results on Friday but um, whoops gotta get t2107 um, just hooking up a little bit only 21 22 percent of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average obviously still well below resistance and downtrends a lot of work that needs to be done here before we can really 
um, breathe a sigh of relief. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 did sink down um, a bit, but again, we've had some really odd volume here in the market, but it is showing us that possibility that we could catch a little bit of follow through relief, which would be really, really nice. However, we will want to kind of keep in mind there's some price support right through that chart so watch that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and what i've been mentioning here our economic calendar we don't have a whole lot of time for a relief before we get some more of those pretty big hits so first off today very light day we've got fed speaker in here a couple little short-term bond auctions going on but not a whole lot to move the market However, um, as you notice right in here, we've got a PMI and we've got new home sales coming in here on Tuesday. Both of those could be problematic reports for us um, um, with the economic conditions that we're seeing here right now. So watch that carefully. We also, then we flip over and it's going to get um, it could be rough the rest of this week. We've got durable goods. We've got an FOMC minutes in here. Um, Durable goods could once again be problematic for us. We've seen um, consumers being constrained, and um, that would be a number that could easily show that. Um, then we follow that up on Thursday with the GDP um, jobless claims. Um, again, GDP, that could be a bit of a problem for us um, going in um this week so just be ready for some of those hits to come along um, that's why I say the Bulls probably don't have a real big um, opportunity time to give us some levity here and then we've got international trades and trading goods and personal incomes and outlays on Friday so the hits just keep on coming and um, one of the things when we see a bearish market like this um, uh, the data kind of tends to pile on creating um, um, pressure, which is hard for those bulls to overcome. If we take a look at our earnings calendar, now our earnings calendar is starting to drop off um, uh, a lot fewer reports. We have, believe it or not, we have about 50 companies listed on the calendar today, but very few notables because the majority of them are not confirmed. Um, after the bell today, we're going to hear from AAP. So luckily, these are going to be after the bell. We've seen retail stocks doing um, horrible on their reports. So luckily, this comes after the bell today. and Maybe we can get that um, just a day of breathing room, maybe to lift to the upside. But we'll watch that, those carefully after the bell today. AAP, um, CarMart will also be reporting after the bell today. Keep a close eye on that. We've got NLS on that list. Um, NDSN um, will be reporting today. TRAN, TRAN, I think. I think I uh, got a typo there. Um, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, XPEV, XPEV we'll want to keep an eye on as well. So watch those closely today. And those are the notables that I have. And you know, again, some of them not real market moving. If we take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave me those brief comments. I do truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for everyone that does take the time to do that. You know, it's been a very, very profitable um, um, time here if you're short the market. If you're fighting the market for the upside, that could be a challenge. And on Tuesday night, I'm going to be doing a public e-learning class um, on trading a bear market. If you guys are available, it's open to the public. You could come on in on Tuesday. I will remind you again tomorrow in the morning prep video. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. 
security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do some pretty good due diligence um, in these charts and making sure that the risk of these trades, um, you understand them carefully because you should never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. It is a very, very challenging market and um, you're going to have to be nimble and careful if you want to be trading. Now, some of those stocks that I have been talking about, that possibility of uh, a little bit of upside, take a look here at AMD. Now, AMD has been getting a lot of press that, um, oh, it's going to just do great. It, it, it's got to go up from here. Now, I don't know that that's true, but they've sure been pumping it here lately. What I do like about this chart is that little higher low that's trying to come in and obviously a little bit of bullishness came in there on Friday trying to push up in that little bit of a short covering rally we need to get through this resistance right in here and we need to break this downtrend in the chart but watch that carefully in here with that little higher low we do have that that hope fingers crossed that maybe um, we can see some of these techs starting to perk back up and do a little bit better but um, again we're gonna have to be really really careful um, if you take a look at Roku. Roku is another one of those charts that's trying to get something going in here. As you can see, we're pushing up here toward that downtrend. And notice this little higher platform that we have in here. That little higher platform does give us that opportunity that it might pop through that downtrend and start perking up here a little bit. We will want to keep in mind that 50-day moving average is above that could provide some resistance. But we're starting to see just those little tiny hints of some of these stocks trying to come back around just a little bit. So if you're looking for, um, you know, some of those texts to try and um, get moving here um, obviously this has been beat down tremendously we're down from $500 a share to $95 a share um, starting to show us uh, maybe some potential value in some of these if we take a look at um, on the bullish side of um, um, of the energy in industry uh, take a look at Devon Devon has been holding up really really well and I got to tell you um, at, at the moment I just don't see these energy stocks pulling back um, the um, efforts of our administration and the um, the the war over there in Ukraine is not providing any relief however we do have a petroleum status number um, I think it's Wednesday this week. We'll want to watch that, but unfortunately, still seeing some upside pressure here on oil, and we continue to set new record highs in our gas prices uh, uh, on the nation. So, seeing a lot of these uh, moving on higher, Exxon Mobil, CVX. Um, now, you've got to be careful on these because these could catch that fall just at any time. You know, just like I, I kept mentioning um, these defensive sector stocks, and then just all of a sudden they got hammered down. So um, um, you'll, you'll want to be watching these energy stocks kind of the same way that at any moment in time they could finally catch a pretty good selling wave but for now they're looking good. If you look at natural gas, natural gas continues to hold up quite well. I'm holding UNG, I've been holding it for a long, uh, a long term hold. It's looking really, really good. And this little bit of resting pullback is exactly what I want to see. Um, that next opportunity where we could find some more upside in here. So keep an eye on that. B-O-I-L um, would be another one um, um, showing that same kind of resting pullback pattern that may have that opportunity to set up higher. Certainly, natural gas is becoming a major problem um, in the world with Russia shutting down gas lines and uh, the restriction of those gas lines being made by um, Ukrainian fighters as well, um, shutting down um, those pipelines. So watch that carefully. We might also want to take a look at um, um, some of these commodities in here, wheat. A um, little pop and drop here on the day going on. We're pushing back up into these resistance highs with a lot of that um, commodity being produced about 40% actually um, 
of the world supply between Ukraine and Russia, um, that's um, uh, something that may continue to move to the upside. Keep an eye on that. You could also look at um, uh, the commodity corn. Corn has also been holding up quite well. Keep an eye on those. Been seeing, now these have been pushed down here a little bit. Um, stocks like CF, um, Mosaic, um, they've been pushed down here a little bit, but they had that opportunity to get going the other day. Notice we have that little tiny higher high possibility in there. If they can start pushing back up again, that would kind of support that commodity area, farm related products, um, something to watch. Not quite ready for prime time yet, as you can see. Other places that I think um, you might want to be paying attention to, take a look at the financials. Pretty darn bearish, but we had a nice little hammer pattern come in here um, on that chart. And notice, uh, noticing that we, uh, not quite what I would call a tweezer bottom, you can see right there those um, two lows coming pretty close together. We might start to see just a little bit of upside relief here on those financials. Again, it may be short-lived with that data coming, so you might um, might see a little bit of opportunity in there. Um, as far as some of the big techs, guys, um, I would be I would be a little bit careful here in um, thinking that the downside in this market is is all in because I don't think it is. And um, even though they're showing maybe just um, a little tiny um, opportunity for some relief, and I do think there's some relief in there, I would be watching these charts for the rally back to resistance for the next potential short um, as they rally back up into those downtrends and um, areas I would look for those as um, possible shorting patterns as they come along. Apple pretty darn bearish here as you can see. So rally back into resistance levels in the chart would just set up those next opportunities. I'd be really, really careful with these as bond prices continue to punish um, these um, tech sector areas. So watch them carefully. So with that, guys, um, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Again, I want to caution everyone, be careful. If you've been losing money consistently in the market, stand aside, work on your trading plan, work on some, um, some, um, improvement. Uh, find out what's going on in your trading. Don't just keep throwing good money after bad. Um, I've been running into a lot of folks in my individual coaching work that I do. Uh, folks struggling quite a bit, but unwilling to just step back and wait until a better market improves. Remember, it's a whole lot easier um, to make money back if you continue to have money in your account. If you continue to lose money in your account, it's really hard to recover. So um, with that, I want to wish you guys all the very, very, very best today. Be safe, be careful. Remember, we've got some big data coming this week that could move the market a lot. So be prepared. Have an awesome one, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.